So this is a cover to the the throttle body right there. I uh, didn't order a new gasket, I'll replace that. I'm gonna try and just kind of clean this a little bit. Not sure that's gonna help any, but you know, my OCD is kicking in, so I'll, I'll kind of just spray this out. Or maybe just use a rag to kind of dab, get that off. Alright, there's the old one. And see if I can clean in here. I don't really think I need to, but I'll do it. <clears throat> I know they sell some aftermarket, but I kind of was burnt on my 2018 when I was doing, or 2008 Honda, when I did the valve adjustment on that one. Um, I was going to save some money and I ordered some uh, aftermarket gaskets and they were the wrong ones. They, they were not even close so I, <clears throat> after that I just said you know what I'm just going to stick to the, uh, the Honda, the OEM stuff and uh, there's a lot of places online that you can order Honda parts, Acura parts, GM, Ford, Motor, whatever car you're working on <clears throat> you can order the exact part. Now unless you're dealing with a very old car or something uh, that's a different story um, So. All right. <clears throat> so put this back on there. <clears throat> and these I numbered them and got the torque there. And you can do this or two or three steps. This one I'm going to do in two. I'm going to do six newton meters and then do the did to 12 and again you can you can go back. 
see if we can hear it here on this. There it is. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> if the, the screws or these bolts that are going into the uh, intake intake manifold here, they're the this, the receiver hole that's on here where the threads are. It it only goes in so far. So I was spraying out and trying to clean in there, and I got some carbon. Uh, I'm sorry, some uh, throttle body air intake cleaner liquid in the little, you know, where the threads are. You want to make sure that you spray that out with some air because you can cause... I had already done it, but what I noticed that if you have liquid in there and you start to torque this down, that liquid's probably not going to compress and then you're going to crack the aluminum down here, so you got to be careful with that. So remember, go back, see if you can hear this one. Yeah, it's not as it's not as pronounced as on the throttle body, but there you go. Right, this one, that one wasn't as pronounced, but it was doing it. And you can feel it if you, you slightly put some pressure on there. You can feel where they there. <clears throat> and you really don't want to cross thread. on aluminum, um, especially like the spark plugs, you don't want to cross thread those or any other, I mean, I guess you, you don't want to cross thread anywhere. These are in there. <clears throat> and let me get these guys here. And then I'm here, let me go ahead and just screw this guy in. I've already connected it right here. I've already connected my, this goes to the brake booster and then I connected this one from over here, this <clears throat> um, hose that goes in from the front valve cover up here. I still got to put a gasket in there. I'm just trying to get that located there. Okay. Um, let me get my other torque wrench. <clears throat> I have uh, several torque wrenches. I have a quarter inch size. <clears throat> uh, 
I have a quarter inch drive, I have a three eighths inch drive, and I have a half inch drive in this style. So let me go grab that one. Uh, <clears throat> technically, the supposedly the the smaller the screw, the the smaller the drive you want to use because it's a little bit more accurate uh, at the lower end or whatever. So, all right, be back a little bit. Kind of went over a little bit there, but I'm only going up to six, so. So I did go over, it, it beeps twice, it, it beeps twice, and then it'll go into the red, yellow, red, uh, but I was only at six newton meters now. I'm going to do the 12, and this one I'll be a little bit more careful. All right, here we go. over it one more time.
Okay. That's done. <laughs>